Hi, welcome back. Today we're gonna to be talking about some of my favorite products that I like to use when I'm in a pinch for time. These are things that are kind of like throw on and go and that I can kind of just count on to give me a really like quick, soft, seamless look. Some of these are really compatible in the sense that their packaging is super convenient and portable and just easy to reapply or reuse. And some aren't necessarily like packaging friendly in terms for travel, that's why I didn't want to call this like, you know, perfect makeup for travel. Uh, they're just very seamless and I can apply them quickly and I can kind of count on the formula to look good no matter what. And that's kind of what we want when we're in a crunch for time, when we don't have a lot of time to do our makeup and we just want to look nice and refreshed. So um, let's go ahead and talk about what I'm wearing currently on my skin. Some of you are going to love it. Some of you are going to hate it. Jones Road, WTF, what the foundation. Um, I just, there has not been one time that I put this on and not like the way that it makes my skin look. Um, it is what I'm currently wearing right now. I do have a couple things layered on top of it because I wanted to demo them in this video for you, but um, you will see me applying this by itself in the actual demo. So I uh, had this for, I don't know, this is, we've, well, this has been out for like almost a year, if not a year now. And I just think it makes my skin look really plump and juicy. And it truly is the epitome of just like throwing on with your hands and going out the door. Now, if you have tried this and it has been a little too dewy, a little too tacky, it does have a tacky feel to it. I definitely do have to throw on a little bit of powder to set this. However, like I said, just the results kind of outweigh that. I wouldn't even call it a con. I don't really care if the product is tacky, if it makes my skin look nice and radiant. You know what I'm saying? But I get it. Some of you are in the combo oily skin type and just couldn't get down with this. I know a lot of you also didn't like the smell of this product. So um, cheaper alternative coming in here, the L'Oreal Age Perfect 4-in-1 Tinted Balm. This is a good one that I like to throw on in the mornings, especially um, when, you know, like let's say this is like an errand running makeup to me. Like if I just wanna look nice and polished, like I just have a little sum something on, you know, this is what I will reach for. Now this to me is definitely more on the satin side. Um, satin borderline, sometimes I feel like it looks matte on me. So that's why I reach for the Jones Road one more often because I do like that radiance coming from within. This is definitely gonna be a little bit more accessible. It should be in most drugstores in the US at least. Um, and one downside to this, one downside I will say, I don't like the color selection in this. Um, it runs really like salmon tone. So you may have a hard time finding a color in this. Otherwise, I do like this as a throw on and go product. And a lot of people say this is a dupe for the Jones Road with the foundation. I don't agree with that. Like I said, I heavily feel like this is satin borderline matte when you apply it you don't get a ton of radiance coming from within which is perfect for throwing on and going in my opinion like the less i have to set something and the you know quicker i can get out the door you know that's perfect so um just wanted to throw this as an alternative because what the foundation is just so like people either love it or they hate it and I just happen to be one of those people that really enjoys it i mean i just look at my skin every time i use it and it's just like I have this glazed look of perfected skin. That's the only way I can describe it. So um, these are my first um, two contenders. Really quickly wanted to mention two stick options here because I do love a good stick product that I can just swipe on blend out with my fingers and go. Of course, we have the holy grail, the like end all be all of travel foundations in my opinion, and that is the Merit Complexion Stick. I'm wearing it today more as a concealer on top of the Jones Road, just so you can kind of see it on my skin in a demo, uh, but this works perfectly fine by itself as a foundation. You're gonna get light, light, medium coverage with it. I definitely wouldn't expect a full really even like medium full coverage with this. I've never really tried to build it up to that. I kind of, I don't want to know like how that looks. Um, I think it truly is just meant to be like a light medium coverage product. 
Another plus with this is on me personally, I feel like I can reapply it a couple times throughout the day if I need to. So if you're someone that's on the go and you wanna keep something in your bag and you want to freshen up, or you have dark circles that are kind of peeking through, uh, this is a formula that I find layers well throughout the day and um, doesn't end up looking cakey. This is gonna be for my fuller coverage people out there, the Westman Atelier Vital Foundation Stick. This is a beautiful formula and it is quick, medium full coverage, like a few swipes of this all over, blend it out. I personally like to use a brush with this product. You could use your hands, but I think it would be a little bit more finicky. Um, a brush is just quicker in my opinion, but you can get some solid, decent coverage with this. Uh, texture wise, I would say it is similar to the Merit. They both are kind of satin, which I really appreciate because I don't find that I necessarily have to set either one of these. So great for throwing on and heading out the door. Don't have to do an extra step with um, setting, but you will find that you will get significantly more coverage than you do with the Merit. There have been times when I literally just swipe this on and I literally feel like I have a full face of makeup on. And finally, the one and only, this is just a very trustworthy product for me and I know will last throughout the day. Uh, so if I am in a pinch and I want longevity, but I don't want something that's too overwhelming, Estee Lauder Double Wear Sheer. We know her, we love her. Uh, this has kind of been like the star, the icon of my channel for the past two years. I use this weekly several times. I just can always count on it to not only apply quickly, but look really nice and fresh and then hold on throughout the day. Like I just feel like it holds up so well, just as good as the original Double Wear, but with a more natural look. So I had to include this. This is again a PSA. If you haven't tried this, pick up a sample, see how it works on your skin. Again, I find that this has more of a satin finish, so I don't necessarily always have to set it. I was going through my concealer drawer and I was just like, how do you really categorize a you know, quick, fast application concealer. They're really, you're gonna apply them in the same way. So I only pulled one formula out, and this is saying a lot. Like out of all of my concealer formulas, there might've been one more that I could have mentioned, but this one is versatile and blends out seamlessly with the fingers. I think it actually looks best blending out with fingers. And I just thought, yeah, this is a really good one to throw on super quick. And I use it as foundation sometimes because I love the formula. And it's NYX Bear With Me Serum Concealer. It is so thin, it is so flexible, works for a lot of different skin types. You don't have to be dry, oily combo. It's just kind of, in that good middle ground area where anyone can use this. Uh, and it's just thin, that's what I love about it. And that's why I think it's so easy to apply. It's almost just like a second skin when you apply it. So I just do, um, I did a little demo showing you like some extra coverage using this today. Um, I used it around my jawline a bit to get some extra coverage there. I especially love using this in areas that I get redness. So you'll see me in my demo kind of like patting it in around my nose and like my lip. And this is where I tend to get redness. This is a great coverage concealer. I would say at least medium coverage um, on this formula. And it's just so thin and flexible that you can really fit into those, you know, fine line areas and not have to worry about it looking bad. So. This was the overall winner for me. Um, I, I don't have any more. I was gonna mention ELF, Flawless Brightening. I do love that one. Um, but you just get light coverage with that. It's not as versatile. It is very fast and easy to apply, but you aren't going to get the results that you will with something like this one. This is quickly becoming one of my favorite fast application products and drugstore cream bronzers. And it is the Milani supercharged uh, cheek and lip multi-stick. I don't know why, I know they make these in blushes, so maybe that's why you can use them on the lips, but um, I don't know, I, I personally wouldn't use these shades that I have on my lips. Um, I have the shade Electric Bronze and Bronze Voltage. Electric Bronze is obviously this lighter color here. Bronze Voltage is what I'm wearing currently, and it's the one that I wear most. Now, I had to point this out as well, um, because I think it is a spot on dupe for the Merit Cream Bronzer. And we all know I love Merit. Merit is, I mean, it, it's the epitome of fast application, easy makeup. Um, but when Merit launched 
their cream bronzer formula. I was like, man, where have I tried this before? Like, what, where have I tried this? And I hadn't pulled out the Milani one because I only had the lighter color at the time and it's the lightest shade is very, very light. So when I was in Ulta um, several months ago and was like, hey, I need to get a darker color in this because I like this, but the lightest color is just not working for me. Um, I started using again and I was like, mm, that this is it. This is exactly to me the formula of the Merit. Um, it's a very sheer and dewy, uh, blends in very easily. I wouldn't recommend this if you go for like fuller coverage foundations because it is very glowy in the texture and I find that it will disrupt um, heavier pigment. So if you have a heavier foundation on underneath it, I would recommend at least applying to your hand and stamping in with a brush as opposed to applying directly because it is, um, I won't say like high water content, but there is something in it that makes it very emollient. Okay, I just swatched my Merit Bronzer, which is on the bottom here. It's in the shade Clay with 150 uh, electric bronze. You can see the tones are different in these, but they both have a good amount of shine. The Milani one is actually a little bit more dewy, but but they blend out like almost identical. Um, so anyways, this wasn't meant to be like, I didn't mean to go on like a dupe tangent there, but uh, love these for just fast application, easy, glowy, nice, sheer. It almost just looks like it's coming like naturally from your skin. So if you've not checked these out, would definitely recommend. I think they come in three or four shades. And uh, I'm, yeah, I'm just, I'm a big fan. I wanted to include all three of the Milk Makeup um, bronzer, blush, and highlighters because thanks to you all, I made the real realization. I talked about um, some of the new contours in my last video and I thought Milk had just sent me the minis of these. Back in the day, these used to be huge. Like I used to have this highlighter, I had the baked bronzer, and they were just like huge, almost like deodorant sticks. And um, I thought Milk had just sent me a PR package with, um, you know, the minis, because sometimes brands will do that. And y'all were like, girl, that's like what size they are now. And I was like, you know what, even better. Like even better, because guess what? There are so many shades in these blushes um, and bronzers and highlighters to try that it's like, okay, you know, throw a little mini my way, let me use it up and then we'll, we'll see which shade I wanna move on to next. You know what I'm saying? So um, anyways, not the reason why I'm bringing these up. Obviously the packaging for very obvious reasons, just very convenient. Like contour especially just fits in the hollow of your cheek. These have a good amount of pigment so you can apply directly to the skin. And I just think the formula is beautiful on these. You get a nice, lovely, um, I'm wearing Quirk and Rally mixed together. No, actually, you know what? I'm wearing Rally on my cheeks and on my lips, I'm wearing Quirk, Rally, and Enigma. I mixed three colors on my lips because they were too pink and I kept trying to tone it down. Um, but I'm wearing Rally on my cheeks and then I'm wearing Lit um, as my highlighter and Toasted as my contour. So um, yeah, I think that these are perfect little babies for fast application. Um, they come in some beautiful colors and yeah, just travel friendly, obviously. They're just so cute and tiny and I love it. We're gonna do a wrap around here and bring it back to Merit and Westman Atelier because again, both of their blushes and uh, contours, bronzers, whatever you wanna call it, are very easy to apply, very fast to apply, and blend out like a dream. So we all know, you know, my love for the Merit Flush Balms. I've been wearing these since Merit came out as a brand. I've been wearing Merit, I feel like, since the day that they launched. Like, immediately I was like, yes, I know I'm gonna love this brand, um, but I love their um, flesh balms because they're just the perfect size. Like you just, you just, you know, just like stamp into the cheek there. And it's just the perfect size, um, perfect amount of pigment. These are not overly pigmented blushes. They're very buildable, um, but you're not going to get the pigment level like you will with 
Westman Atelier here. Now these blushes are, they're kind of the opposite. They're Merit and the Westman are total opposites here. Um, Merit, you're gonna get a dew, you're gonna get a little bit of shine and you're going to get buildable um, color payoff. With the Westman Atelier, you're going to get more of a satin matte finish on these and a lot more pigment. Like you kind of have to be careful when you apply these. They definitely do not lack in the pigment arena. Um, but they are some of the most stunning blush formulas on the market. Um, they just perform so well. They look high quality. They just look seamless on the skin. Um, so yeah, you really can't go wrong with popping this on super quick, blending it out with, really it works with fingers, brush, beauty blender, whatever you want. I have mentioned this product in my past like five videos. I cannot put it down and it is like the epitome of fast brow for me right now. Gen Z Arch Support Brow Powder Gel. It's like a powder in, you know, a little like tube spoolie application form. Um, and I love it. Like it literally fills in my brows just as good as any pencil, any pomade, um, any powder. It is so fast and easy to use. A lot of you have bought this. It's actually sold out on Credo. I'm not going to like credit myself here, but I will say when I link this, I link to Credo because they always have a 10% off that you can use. Um, well for your like first order. Um, and it's like one of the more accessible websites that you can buy Gen C on. So I always link Credo. I notice all the shades are sold out and I've been using it and talking about it in my last, like seriously, like four or five videos. Um, you can still currently get this on Gen C's website though, as of the time of making this video. Um, now, I will say a lot of you have purchased this and I do have the lightest color, it's called Taupe and you can see it is pretty dark. There's only three shades, Taupe is the lightest. So if you feel like your hair, if you're blonde obviously, and you don't go for a dark brow, this is not gonna work. We would love to see a color expansion, Gen C. Like I think this product is really gonna take off um, and hopefully it'll like make moves to expand on, especially like if you're a redhead, um, I don't necessarily think there's like an auburn shade uh, that you could go for, but wait patiently. Hopefully we will see, you know, maybe a couple more colors come out within this lineup, but it is so good. Um, it is fast, it's easy and it looks great. So other than stating the obvious cream shadow sticks that I normally use, Bobbi Brown, Laura Mercier, Kiko, um, Beauty Pie, those are obviously my picks for a fast and easy eye look. I wanted to bring attention to this one from Clinique. It's the chubby stick for eyes and I feel like I had one of these back in the day but just didn't use it that often. Um, I was talking to a Clinique rep at my Ulta back around Christmas time and I kept saying like, yeah, I've really been looking at this color. It's called Lavish Lilac, but they had been sold out of it every single time I went in. And she was explaining that it was a popular color. Um, finally got my hands on it. And I have to say, I've been really impressed with it. Um, it does manage to hold up on my eyes throughout the day, which when you feel of it, it's kind of a drier texture. So I wasn't expecting it to, I don't know, perform like at its best compared to some other shadows that I've used or cream shadows. But I mean, it does hold up really nicely on my eyes and I love the color. I love this again, 09 Lavish Lilac. They have a few other shades. I know they have like a, a beige, they've got a bronze. I wanna say they may have a green, which I might go after next time I'm in Ulta. Um, but I can't exactly remember. Uh, very wearable, pretty colors. The reason that I wanna talk about this is because the size of it is literally like the perfect size of an eyelid. So just a couple swipes, very satin finish on this, but you can see you still get some shine from it. Um, you literally just throw this on and blend out with your finger and you're done. Like that's basically all I did today. I did add a little bit to my lower lash line for some liner underneath there and it's just fast, easy and a really lovely color. So if you've not checked these out, um, I would recommend at least for this color. I know sometimes color variations can perform differently, but 
this one has my stamp of approval. Lips, I have to bring it back to my M Beauty Project lip glaze. They are bussin'. They literally are like a lip balm, a lip gloss, and a lip color all in one, depending on which shade you pick up. Um, the one that I use the most, yeah, Berry Jam. I have this on top today. Um, I've also surprisingly been liking the Fruity Cereal, which is the pink one. Uh, these are just so comfortable and juicy, like juicy on the lips. And I never have to worry about if I forgot my chapstick, if I have one of these in my bag, because they're just so nourishing on the lips. So they're just great to throw on. I mean, they're they're not like super long wearing. You're definitely gonna have to reapply throughout the day, but they just give a really nice stunning appearance. And I think if you're just going for that fresh polished look, um, these will definitely do the job. Just make sure if you're wanting some color that you pick one, like they have a candy apple one, the berry um, jam, they have Merlot. Just make sure you get one that ha does have some noticeable color in it because all of the nude ones will be like either clear or super, super nude. So if you want some color, um, don't be afraid. They are not as obviously bright as they look. Okay, a few more lip products and then we are done, baby. I have all of my sticks here to talk about like let's let's be real the stick lip product I, I don't know like what do you what do you want to call this like if it's in a chubby stick the og chubby stick formula or form it's just you know it's down like it's easy to apply it's quick and you can count on it like it's reliable so of course clinique chubby stick this is just such a long-standing product in my collection. I started using these when I was probably about 18 when I got into college. I don't know how I discovered them. I feel like maybe Emily Noel um, talked about these and I immediately went to my belt and started stocking up on these. I busted my paycheck on a Clinique Chubby Stick like every single week. Um, I seriously had every single color. I love these, they're moisturizing. They come in some beautiful colors. Easy to apply, I also use them on my cheeks sometimes. Very portable, you get the gist. I mean, I've talked about these for like ever. Um, so these are the new Tower 28 uh, Juice Balms and I do really like these. Uh, they are not meant to have like the longest longevity, if that's a term. They aren't meant to have like the best longevity. They're just supposed to be something, again, you can keep in your bag and reapply throughout the day. However, I did want to bring attention to a similar, more affordable option, and it's the Ulta Beauty Gloss Sticks. So these have a pretty good longevity. They have more pigment than the Tower 28 have. Um, but if you are looking for a stick, like version. Um, also, we, 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 we're still seeing Neutrogena. Um, what are those called? <laughs> Moisture sticks, the new, just basically Neutrogena's version of a chubby stick. I can't remember. I used to use those all the time though. Those are still available and I see them at the drugstore all the time. Um, so I would not be against those as well, but this is just a recent find for me. And I like that it's smaller. Um, the, even the like tip of it smaller, so you can really get some precision happening here. And yeah, I just, um, I like the formula of this. It's a pretty, pretty solid formula. Last but not least, I have the Jones at Road Cool Glosses. These are just fun. Again, not a long wearing product, but it's something that you can apply quick and keep in your bag. I especially love the shade pink gold. It's gorgeous. It's exactly what the name says. Um, also really like mocha shimmer. It's a brown with some shimmer in it. And then um, I've been using nude beige for a nice like deep, a little bit more like a chocolatey nude. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Poppy red. This is a fun one. And there are a lot of like brighter shades in here if that's more of your jam. But I love these. They have a nice natural cooling sensation. Um, they literally taste like real authentic peppermint oil. So I love that. If you're not into peppermint, they don't tingle, but they, you know, it's very cooling on the lips. So if you're not into that, you're not going to like these, but they're called cool glosses for a reason. And um, yeah, I just feel like they're very, they're very cool as the name like describes. Like they just are very quick, easy to apply. 
love the shades. I just feel like the shades are really unique. Just goes along with, I mean, really the whole Jones Road vibe in general. So if you haven't tried these, um, I, I would, I'd pick one up. I'd recommend it. I just feel like they're like my audience type. You know, I feel like you guys, I mean, you watch me for a reason, love these, and I, I feel like you would too. Okay, I think that's it. I hope you enjoyed learning about some fast application products. Let me know what some of your fast and easy applying products are that you use daily. Would love to know, and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye.